At the 2020 Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, I was asked to do a YouTube for Beginners presentation for new and aspiring YouTube creators at the RTR. The attendees asked for a replay, and many who weren't able to make it wanted to see it as well. If you learned something new in this video, please let me know in the comments below and feel free to share it with others. Hi, I'm Joni Zander. I am the gal behind the Galavan. This is the Galavan, and it's Galavan is Gal Adventure Van. Also, I am a provisional trustee with HAWA um, as well, and I am the admin for the official Facebook groups. I started my YouTube channel in November of 2017, and um, I got really lucky right away. I learned about how to film and edit uh, from my friend Seven as, with Seven Wanders the World. Um, I was able to sit down with him while he was editing. He taught me all of that. And the day after I posted my very first video, I was invited to do a guest vlog for Enigmatic Nomadics. And so within two months, I had 2,000 subscribers, which is a pretty fast uh, growth. In the beginning, I, I averaged two videos a week, and now I average about one video a week, and um, I have over 16,000 subscribers uh, right now. So, um, so, and that's a little over two years. I tend to focus on what fascinates me. So if, if I go somewhere and I just love it, there's a wow factor, I will film and edit that. Um, the thing that fascinates me the most right now are custom or DIY rigs, uh, mostly vans. I prefer to focus on women built vans because I think that's amazing. Um, but I'll show, you know, any, any van that I think is really cool, I'll show my subscribers. And then I also focus on van life. So one of the things that I do is instant pot cooking or organizing, you know, that sort of stuff. So before you start a YouTube channel, you'll want to ask yourself a couple of questions. Why do you want to start your channel? Okay, so YouTube is not a fast way to make money. You need a couple of years of consistent, high quality videos to even make $20 in a month. So it's not a super high growth um, way to make money. So ask yourself, do you love to film and edit and tell stories? Because that's what you're gonna be doing. If you don't love to do that, there are so many other platforms that are gonna be better for you. Um, you really need a love of the, of the medium. Um, ask yourself what you want to share with the world. Um, most people come to YouTube to learn something, right? I mean, how many of you have learned how to do something on YouTube, right? Um, people don't generally go to YouTube for travel videos in general. They might go to YouTube to see a travel video for somewhere they're going to go, but they're not going to watch continually a whole channel of just your travels usually unless you're a really great storyteller maybe you have a really quirky personality or a really hot body or you know that sort of thing right so ask yourself what you want to teach what do you want to teach people and then ask yourself also who do you want to influence because youtube creators are influencers they are social media influencers Okay, so let's talk about how you get paid on YouTube. You do need to have an AdSense account. And, oh, first of all, um, YouTube has tutorials for creators. They want creators to be successful. And so they're going to walk you through everything you need to know. So to get paid, you need an AdSense account. Um, it's fairly simple to set up. It's just you go through, you give them um, routing information so they can pay you, um, that sort of thing. And then once your channel has a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in one year period, then YouTube will review your channel. When you're making your videos, when you're first starting out before you get to that point, you need to make sure that you read the policies and guidelines on YouTube to make sure that your videos comply. And I'm gonna just briefly go over those. 
Um, so these are all no's. So no nudity or sexual content, um, no har nothing harmful or dangerous, nothing hateful, violent or graphic, no harassment or cyberbullying, no spam, misleading met metadata or scams, no threats. You, you can't copyright infringe on anybody. You can't use somebody else's song if you don't have the copyright to that song. And that gets a little tricky when you're filming. Like if you're filming in a grocery store and they have the Muzak on, you can't have that clip have that audio in there because you'll get dinged for copyright infringement. So that's actually a really big one. Um, you can't violate people's privacy. You can't impersonate someone. Um, you have to be aware of child safety and you can't use reused content or repetitious content. So you can't take, snag somebody else's content and put it out as your own. Um, and get paid for it. <laughs> so these are the guidelines for getting paid, right? Once you're approved, you're going to earn money based on views. And it's not a lot of money for each view. Um, so it really takes a lot of views to get paid. So here is my real life example. So my, I've had my channel for a little over two years. I have had two million views on my videos and I have earned a grand total of $7,000. Oh. So, but in two years, two years worth of work. <laughs> but the thing with it is, is once you start getting paid on your videos, you keep getting paid on your videos. This is a list of things not to do with your videos. Um, so when you're first starting out, don't buy expensive equipment first. You have a smartphone, you have free, video editing software on the computer. Don't ever, ever, ever shoot in portrait mode. Do not hold your camera this way. It makes crappy, crappy videos that are so hard to watch. Don't move fast. So if you're walking around, you need to walk really steadily. And if you're, you know, if you're panning, you want to pan slowly. Don't be repetitive in your videos. And it's, it's hard when you're, when you're just talking to not be repetitive. Edit that crap out. Nobody wants to sit through a video that's 10 minutes longer than it needs to be to find the information, right? Do what you can to make your content interesting and adding value. You know, these are things that, that YouTube creators do all the time, right? Don't over promote your channel. Um, I'm sure you've all seen people who are always shoving their channel in someone's face yeah. on, you know, Facebook groups that don't allow you to post to promote on, you know, in, in person. And it just, it turns off more people than it attracts. And then, okay, so everyone's trying to get subscribers, right? So um, here are the things not to do when you're trying to get subscribers. So you're gonna see these out there, sub for sub. Someone's going to um, put up a, a post in a Facebook group and say, hey, I'll sub to your channel if you sub to mine. Comment for subs. So if you place a comment on somebody's video for, with the express reason to get viewers over to your channel, that's not cool. And definitely never, ever, ever buy subs. Um, if you buy subs, YouTube will take those back down. So don't even bother, don't waste your money. All of these methods for getting subs are not going to give you the engagement that you're looking for to be successful on your channel. Okay, so let's talk about what you want to do. So start with the equipment that you already have, okay? Almost all of us have a smartphone. You're going to hold it this way. Um, you already have editing software, free editing software available. It either came on your computer when you got it, or you can download it for free. I use iMovie. I've been using iMovie the whole time. I don't see a time when I'm not going to use iMovie because it's simple and it's free. Um, always, always, always shoot in landscape. Okay, this is the third time I've said this. So this is the most important tip. Absolutely. Always shoot this way. Pan slowly, so when you're, so a pan is for moving from one side to another. When you're panning, you want to go like this, and that's unwatchable. You want to pan slower than you think you possibly need to, and then maybe even slower. 
Um, also hold your arms in. So you're not holding it out like this, but hold it steady. Be careful not to jump around. A jumpy video is really, really hard to watch. It makes people seasick. You don't wanna make your subscribers seasick. Speak clearly and with energy. The audio of your videos is actually more important than your video. Um, so many people are listening to YouTube in the background of their life. And if they can't hear you, if the audio is crap, then they're gonna click on to another video. It's not gonna be worth it to them. And sometimes you need to do weird things like have your camera over there and then have your uh, phone picking up your audio with just your, I mean, I've got my, um, my little headphones from, um, from Apple clipped to my shirt and my iPhone working in the background. Okay, so be yourself. One thing about YouTube, I mean, the, it's YouTube, right? It is you, it's your voice. Everyone has a voice that, is, that someone is going to relate to. So don't emulate other creators, be yourself. And find your own style. Um, and then also, without emulating them, learn from successful creators. Um, Casey Neistat has a, a great series of videos on how to video, how to be successful on YouTube. Some of them are old, like four or five years old, and they're still great information on better ways to film and better techniques and things like that. So this is probably my biggest tip after shooting in landscape is to collaborate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marty's over here counting how many times I've said it. Um, so collaborate with other YouTube creators. Um, YouTube is not a competition. Like I said, everyone has their own unique voice and everyone's voice appeals to someone else. Even if you're saying the same kinds of things, um, you know, I, my van tour has been on a number of different channels. It reaches different people. Collaborate with a large channel to grow your channel and collaborate with smaller channels to help them grow theirs. And all of those things grow your own channel. I have collaborated with channels that have um, just over a thousand subscribers and we had a great collaboration. I did a collaboration this summer with Bob Wells, you know, a much, much bigger channel. And all of it is great. Use YouTube to learn how to do this. Um, YouTube.com forward slash creators forward slash benefits gets you all kinds of information including how to start your channel the the technical details for starting your channel and tips plan your videos before you shoot them it's going to save you hours in editing afterwards um, and speaking of editing edit out the boring stuff so when I'm editing my videos, I'm seeing them, you know, five, six, seven, 10, 11 times, depending on the video. If there's even a clip in that video that I find boring after I've watched it 10 times, I cut it. It is gone. Um, it is not beneficial to you to, um, to have a longer video that's boring. The ideal length is whatever will engage your viewers. So there is no ideal length. It is dependent on what your content is and whether it's, it holds their interest. Making videos is a skill and it's a skill that can be learned. And um, so every time you film a video and edit a video, just ask yourself, how can I make this next video better, right? Always be increasing your skill, always be making your videos better and your subscribers are gonna stay with you and they're gonna keep coming along. Um, and speaking of your subscribers, interact with them. They want to be, a, you know, they feel like you're their friend because they know you. So interact with them, answer their questions, um, respond to their comments. Um, frequency and consistency will build your channel. And lastly, have fun with it. If you're not having fun with your videos, your subscribers and the people who are watching your videos aren't going to have fun watching it. Those are my tips. And so I, let's open it up for questions, whatever questions you might have. Marty, back to the compensation part. Do you get a 1099? Um, yes. If depend, you know, once, once you've reached that level, you will get a 1099. Absolutely. Part of signing up for AdSense is doing the tax part. So she's asking about sponsors. I get an e I get multiple emails a week asking people to <clears throat> to review their product they're going to give me their product 
and they want me to review their product. They're never anything that I want. <laughs> and if they're not something I want, they're not something that my, my audience is going to want. And so I say no to all of them. I have done some, some uh, promotional videos with friends of mine or with products that I needed and that I wanted. Um, really protect your subscribers and they will stay with you. So the iMovie will come free with your Mac. Um, to get your photos from your phone to your computer, the easiest way is to just open your photos on your computer. No, you don't need a cord. Yep, yeah, you just make sure that, that your photos are uploading to your account, so your Google account, and then they will show up on your computer. Yeah, um, same, with, same with Mac. Um, you're just going to go to your photos you know, you should have your photos on your phone and your computer, and it'll just be there. Okay. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. So he's Thank saying you. that iMovie is on an iPhone, so you can edit your videos on your phone. Um, it just doesn't have as many fun as much functionality as the computer. So she's asking about music. So um, when I first started, I was using one um, one guy's music. And, um, and it was um, under Creative Commons, and I, you know, I would send him donations. And, um, and then I got, started getting dinged for copyright infringement on, on music that I had permission to use. So um, ever since then, I only use music from YouTube. In the Creator's t Tools, um, you, there's an audio library. She asked that I was using Creative Commons content, but I got dinged for copyright infringement. It's because there was a third party that filed a claim on his music. And so he folded up shop and went away. No, it wasn't something I did wrong. Yeah. 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 So I don't, and that was off of SoundCloud. I don't do that anymore. I only use the audio library off YouTube. I do have a, um, an Amazon affiliate as well. And so that link is in my, my description of all my videos. Amazon affiliate means that when someone clicks on a link for Amazon, it will pay you um, for whatever they purchase, a percentage of whatever they purchase. She's asking about channel subscriber meetups. I did do a meetup last year and I did it with a friend of mine during RTR. Um, right now is kind of my meetup. <laughs> um, so safety wise, collaborate. I mean, that's a perfect reason to collaborate with someone is, hey, let's do a meetup together and do it in a public place. The question is, is YouTube getting saturated? I really don't think that uh, there can be too much quality content. As long as you're creating quality content that people want to see, you're fine. I think that the most fun part is when people tell me that they have learned something from what I put out there. The question was, um, was a good free editing software for PCs? And it was Kine Master? K-I-N-E Master. How do you decide your title and thumbnail? <laughs> the titles are so hard. I don't generally do clickbait titles. Um, I, I like to be a little more straightforward with my subscribers. Clickbait is a really good way to get views, but if they don't stay, then they're just going to fly off your channel and that doesn't help YouTube um, promote your videos. Do you look up keywords and things? Yes, there is um, a keyword function of AdSense. Since you need to have an AdSense account to get monetized, then you know, you're going to have an AdSense account. Um, but I use a program called TubeBuddy and, um, and that gives me suggested um, keywords and things and I really like that. I want to say it's like $80 a year, something like that. So it is an investment, but it sure makes it a lot easier. I've been using it since, since I was two months in and it's, I, I've been keeping it. I try to remember to take a good picture. So keep in mind that most of my videos are rig tours. Um, and so I try to take a good picture of the person, you know, standing there with their rig, right? Your best thumbnails are going to have a human face in them. For my um, cooking videos, I actually do a picture of the dish plated up. YouTube likes for people to engage in the content that's on their website, on their platform. And so anytime uh, anybody hits the like button, hits the thumbs down button, um, makes a comment, that is engagement and YouTube really likes it because when people are engaged, they stay.
Even a thumbs down helps me. Please don't thumbs down my videos. No, no, no. It makes me really sad. <laughs> if you have some favorite um, creators, like, um, you know, don't skip the ads on Cheap RV Living. You know, it helps how a, it helps get people off the streets if you don't skip the ads on Cheap RV Living. She's asking it, what, what I would recommend for help with graphics. If you don't have a friend who's a graphic designer, a lot of people like and use Fiverr. I prefer um, Hire My Mom. Hire My Mom, it's a website that allows you allows stay-at-home moms to make money while they're home watching their kids it's the same thing as fiverr it's just moms thank you so much for coming yeah if you liked this video and you have any follow-up questions please put them in the comments below this video is quite a departure from what i usually do so if you would like to learn more about creating video for youtube let me know and i'll see what i can do please hit that thumbs up below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I want to thank you for your thoughtful comments and questions. Keep them coming, and I'll do my best to respond. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.